Hello, Hans here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tool, like an AI tool, um, within like 15 minutes, I hope. And just to define what I mean by a tool is that you have a front end and a back end communicating. And uh, the front end is the UI, the interface clicking, and the back end is automation, AI, and databases. Uh, some smart cookies here will point out that Airtable is actually a front end and a back end in one since it's a visual database, but we'll, we won't go into that. So I've decided to show how to create a YouTube transcript tool. So if you go and type YouTube transcript, click on the first link, we have this beautiful website here where you can add a YouTube URL. And I have my good old pal Frank Kern here. We add that link in there and then we say get a free transcript. There we go. We get a free transcript and we can then copy transcript. Awesome. I want this tool, but without all the, yeah, whatever it is, uh, this here, I want to use it as an internal tool that I can paste into um, my internal CRM or use for clients, whatever it is. So I don't want this. I want my own thing on my own domain working like this. We can do that. Really, really simple. So first of all, we need to find a design guide. And I like to do like find a web page where I say like, this looks what I am looking to build. Like, so let's take N8 in. They just update their website here. And I like this interface here. So I'm going to screenshot or take an image here of some of it. There we go. Now I'm going to go over to ChatGPT. I'm going to say, paste that image in. And then we're going to add this prompt here. Please create a complete website design guide based on the attached image, font color schemes, layout logic, rounding, etc., etc. Everything uh, that would be given to a web page designer for him to create exactly what we're looking for. And I'm just write it out in one long text block. So I just want it in one long text. We're going to pass this on to Gemini, which is going to code our stuff. I'm just going to do this so we get a text representation of what we're going to do. So a design guide. While that is brewing. Okay. Awesome. We now have our design guide. It is this one here. Uh, let's go to Gemini. Let's go a new chat here. Then we will, first of all, we can't just finish the prompt yet because it's in a few, few steps here. I'll just paste some of this in. We can expand it so you can see what I'm writing. And do, do, do. there we go. We will get our design guide here. So design guide. Then I'm just going to go with the prompt here. I'm going to write, please create a full HTML widget tool where I can input a YouTube video URL and get the full transcript back. Make it look good and follow the design guides. I'm also, one second, I'll just do N8N again. Copy that once more and paste that as well. The widget calls a webhook with the URL and we're going to fetch the URL in just a second using JSON. And the webhook responds after a few seconds with the transcript object named transcript. Send the YouTube URL as a JSON object called URL to the webhook. So I'm just explaining how I want, how I want the communication to be and what it should send to our automation and what's it gonna get back from the automation. And then I'm writing here, the response will be transcript and then it's gonna get a full transcript. Then the full design guide here. Before we press enter, we need the webhook URL because we don't do dummy stuff. We do th stuff that actually works. So let's go to make, create a new scenario called tools, YouTube scrape or transcript, sorry. Create a webhook. Just gonna copy this one over here. I'm gonna do custom webhook, add a webhook, paste that in, click save, click save. Now let's just build this out before uh, we can, let's, uh, let's copy this one here first. Let's Gemini in there and click send. While Gemini is building this, we can build our automation. So we'll be getting a URL. And in order to get our transcript, I'm going to use data for SEO and I'm going to make an API call. Awesome. It's going to be a post. 
And in here, we're going to call this one. And you can go to Data Fresio. You can go to your playground. You can go to SERP, find YouTube, find video subtitles, uh, and then select whatever you're going to select here and click Code Example. And then you're going to get some code examples on what you should add in Buddy. I already have that uh, written down, and that is this one. And in order to test this, you can see this URL here. We are going to go and find Frank Kern again, paste that in there, click Save, and let's just open it up and see what we're doing here. So here we have the language code is English. The location code is US 2814 or 40, that is US. Um, then we will be getting the full URL, but Data for SEO only wants do this here, only wants this code here. So I'm going to do a split after, and I'm going to split at watch. So at this point here, then I'm going to do a get and the second one. I could also do a last. I'm doing it with a get. So that is done. Let's just run this module once and see if we get something back. Uh, let's go into the body, in the tasks here, result, and we got something here. We should have something called text. Oh, sorry, items. There we go. This is an array of items where we have text, and this is what we're looking for. Coolios. Now we want to package this as a, or transform it into a JSON. I'm gonna transform to JSON. And since we get this back as an array, we need to join this into, like map it into an array and join it by spaces. So this function is gonna look like this. So I'll just select, let me see my task here, my results and my items. I'm gonna, this is an array, you can see the brackets here, awesome. So we are gonna map all the items and text, meaning that we're going to create a simplified array with all the text items from this array here, meaning that we're just going to create a, an array with all the text. Then we're going to join that array with spaces, meaning that we're going to hit the space bar on the keyboard between all the text that we're going to import. So that, ah, damn it, clicked escape where I shouldn't have tasks, results, and items in there, click save. Let's just unlink here, move that over there and click run once and test this out and see if we get a JSON body as expected. So JSON, and you can see here, we now have a transcript. Coolios, back with that. Now we're gonna set a response. So webhook response, and then we will, uh, we actually told Gemini, how that was going to look. That was going to look like this. So I am keeping my word and adding that as the response here, full transcript. And then we're going to remove the brackets because JSON, transform JSON already have quotation marks on it, like this, like this. Um, click save and save that. Awesome. Gemini should now be done with our code. So we now have code. I don't care about all this. I just want the code. Then I'm gonna go to a page builder. Like I need to put the HTML code somewhere. And I have uh, something called swipe pages, which is a landing page builder. I've created a page. Um, I've added my uh, custom domain, which is tools.scalebytech.com. Created a page called YouTube transcript at the moment. This is just a blank page, nothing there. We're gonna add a blank section. Then we will add HTML, just add that in there. And over here on the side, so up there, I'm gonna paste in my HTML code, which I got from Gemini, paste all that in, click save. And I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm pretty sure it added the correct URL, like the webhook and all that. Um, then I'm going to click publish, I'm going to go back to dashboard and let's see how it looks. I have no idea. Awesome. Get YouTube screen transcript, paste a YouTube video URL below. Cool. Let's go to Frank Kern, see if we paste that in before we click get transcript. I'm 
gonna go to my make scenario and click run. Yeah, run once. Right now this is hard coded and we're gonna do it dynamically in just a second. Save, run once, go back to our site, click get transcript. Let's see if this is running. Awesome, it's gonna get a response. And there we go, we got our transcript. Now we just need to make it dynamic before we turn it on. So we're gonna go into the data for SEO. We're gonna replace the hard coded one with the URL. Click save, click save. Then we're gonna go back, turn that on. And that's it, that's not working. Um, and actually I would like to have a, a copy transcript button. So I'm gonna do a screenshot of this and off screen, I'm just gonna draw something on it. You'll see it in just a second. Um, then I'm gonna go back to Gemini. I'm gonna paste in my little image here. And I just drew a red rectangle on the screenshot. So I'll just go here. So right here, I drew a red rectangle. And then I'm gonna tell Gemini, uh, please add a copy transcript button just below the, what's it called? Get transcript, transcript button. Um, the copy button should only be visible after we get the, whoops, the transcript, like so, go. Um, because I would like a single button so I can copy the entire transcript, because now I can just copy that, go over to ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, whatever AI system you fancy, and do stuff with transcripts, like do a summary, do po bullet points, whatever it is, do a design guide from a video transcript. So let's see, coding, coding, coding. Are you done? Maybe, no, not finished yet. There we go. I'm okay. I'm just the language model. I can't help you with that. I think it just, I don't know what it did. Please try again. Like what? Haven't seen that before. Should be an excuse for everything. I'm just a language model. Don't hurt me. Um, but anyways, let's uh, find another YouTube. Nick, he's also a great guy. So we're gonna do, copy that. What's that? Six skills that won't be replaced by AI. Cool. So we will pay, no, we will first update our code. I'll just save that URL over here. Is it under 15? Oh, so close to 15 minutes. If Gemini didn't, okay. I'm just gonna pause this and then get back to you. Great. Added a new or started a new chat. Did what I asked it to do. Great, let's go in and edit our HTML code. So just asked it to add that button, click save, click publish, refresh page, go and get Nick's URL, click get transcript. See, I'm just gonna trust the process that this tool, and there we go, copy transcript, ooh, in nice green. Um, copy transcript. Then let's do something here with a new chat. Go away, memorize script below into points. There we go. So we just created a super simple YouTube transcript tool in less than 15 minutes. <laughs> if, uh, if the AI didn't, uh, Go ahead and say that it couldn't do that even though it should have been able to. And now you can do a lot of cool stuff generating simple tools like this, combining them like, I want to say like complex tools are just a bunch of simple tools in series or combined into one. So you could start to cluster together a lot of these simple tools, thereby creating something that is actually very useful and advanced. Um, so we could do a transcript, then summarize and create design guides. And like, there's a lot of stuff that you can start to automate into small tools. This is very useful for um, uh, businesses to create internal tools as well, 
where like it simplifies the process for the employee. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye.